A massive coronal hole 20 times the size of Earth has developed on the sun, with scientists warning we'll feel its effects on Friday. So, should we be terrified? <laughs> again. Anyway, here's the story. <laughs> Wait, I didn't hear anything after coronal hole. What's happening? Keep up, Sam. There's a giant hole in the sun that's about 300 to 400,000 kilometres wide, or 20 to 30 Earths wide. Could you put this in terms maybe a scruffy, lovable comedian could understand? OK, I'm 1.8 metres tall, which means the Earth is 7,078,000 Walids wide, which means the hole is 176,972,222.25 Walids across. Oh, that's big. So, um... How scared should I be? Well, scientists say not very, although they are warning about potential geomagnetic storms and solar winds of up to 2.9 million kilometres per hour, which might mess with satellites and therefore our GPS. But on a plus side, it's also given us some nice auroras to look at. So what does this hole want from us? What can we do to quench its thirst for power? Relax. It's probably just a phase. Like when you tried to bring back bow ties. Oh, it was one time. Which this isn't. Scientists say the sun goes through these phases every 11 years, and these sorts of holes are a perfectly normal part of that. In fact, they're not even technically holes. Sam, what's happening? The sun, it's got a giant hole. Go on. It's blasting out hot gas. Oh, we've all been there. <laughs> Again, not technically a hole. It's more like a giant black cool spot on the sun that just looks like a hole. And again, it's nothing to worry about. So I guess the only gassy star we've got to worry about is Wally. <laughs> hey! Oh. Uh, oh. Can we fact check that? He smells. Who said that? Yeah. Oh, it stinks. Hey. Yucky. <laughs> Joining us now is Professor Alan Duffy from Swinburne <laughs> University. It's nice to see you. Yeah. Hey, um, good-looking man. Um, now, we've just heard GPS oh. might be affected by this. How badly are we going to be impacted by this uh, hole? Absolutely. So, when these kinds of solar storms hit, they can fry our satellites. Uh, GPS, they actually dump so much energy into the atmosphere, it thickens up a little layer called the ionosphere. The signals from the GPS arrive at unexpected times, and then that can throw out the position of your your phone, or at least oh. where you think your phone is. So no. when your Uber Eats arrives to your neighbour instead of you and they take it, oh. it might just have been a worse solar storm than we thought and yeah. not just them being sneaky. Oh, yeah. this really? is yeah. Well, what about the astronauts in space? Will their Uber Eats be mucked up as well? <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, if the, if the astronauts are outside the space station, they are in trouble. They will cop a lethal dose, potentially, what? of radiation. Oh, really? Yeah, it is actually quite serious for them. Thankfully, the, um, the, the aluminium hull of that space station will protect them. So they stay inside, and if it gets really bad, their only real chance is to go to the edge of the, solar, the space station with the thickest building materials. It just happens to be the Russians. They just oh. they built it really clunky and, and thick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Professor, Sorry, you Russian sound like you've wandered in from some kooky sci-fi movie. <laughs> so the aluminium is going to keep the astronauts safe, mm -hmm. and then the Russians are going to help them. Well, when you put it like that, it does sound a little strange, <laughs> That's yeah. like weird. I'm, I'm not advocating people wear aluminium foil hats Tip all the time, hats. right? That's, yeah, I that's not going to help. I got for mine. <laughs> is aluminium seriously enough? Uh, for some of the radiation, yes. There is other types of radiation that there's nothing that can protect us, and that's actually feeding black holes, for example, throw out a lot of that radiation. Hits us right now, about 100 times a second, your body's getting hit by this. Oh, wow. uh, it's damaging DNA. And I'm really turning this into a really yeah. downer segment. But so, <laughs> but so, I said there was nothing to worry about. <laughs> um, the, so, yeah, well, what will, what will happen? Like, how long will it last, the Uber Eats, the astronauts with their little aluminium outfits on? When, <laughs> when will the sun fix itself? It's, it's only going to be a couple of days right. at most. The sun is, is rotating around. It's going to direct oh. that, that uh, hole to another bit of the solar system. We'll be fine. We uh, will really? be fine. If we're going to be fine with the sun, mm -hmm. um, is this going to kill us instead? So this is an ultra-massive black hole. I'd never heard of an ultra-massive black hole mm. uh, until now. I'd heard of a super-massive black hole. Oh, we don't have the picture. Anyway. There it is. There there. It is. This is apparently wow. 32 billion times the mass of the sun. That sounds like it will kill us. Will it? <laughs> well, again, without getting too, too negative, yes, if we got too close to it, but this thing is about five billion light years away. It's, it's far enough away, we don't have to worry about it. It's, it's more of a concern to astronomers because we can't figure out how it got so big. It doesn't literally have enough time 
to feed enough in the age of the universe as we know it to have grown so big. Oh, wow. So, and as I said, in the feeding process, it can sometimes kick out some of these high energy particles, the highest energy particles we've ever detected, and they will hit your body sooner or later, and your body will repair it. Okay, you're going to be fine. Very you're well, going to be not, fine. I'm, go biology, go I'm not it. worried after this because you know what? I've got a giant roll of alfoil at home. <laughs> <laughs> that can help. Alan, thank you so much for coming in tonight. Thanks Appreciate it.